Legendary Super Scion Legendary Super Scion, known simply as the Legendary Scion in the Sixth Universe, is a rampaging and destructive full-power variation of the Super Scion. It is a unique Super Scion transformation achieved by only two known Scions, Broly and Kale, and Vegeta speculates that this transformation was what Scions were originally like. Like the traditional Super Scion transformation, as well as the Super Scion God transformation, the legendary Super Scion is renowned in Scion legend as a demonic and ultimately self-destructive Scion who appears only once every thousand years. Legendary Super Scion is an extremely powerful and rare Super Scion transformation that appears once every thousand years alongside the users. As a berserk state, this transformation seemingly has an endless supply of energy. It is the Super Scion B type of Broly's branch of Super Scion transformations, and it is a Super Scion which has evolved differently from the graded forms in levels 2 and 3. It is also the final form of the standard Super Scion form, which it is a powered-up version of, The one source considered it as Super Scion 3rd grade, which itself is a powered-up version of the first Super Scion form. Vegeta states that this state may be the true form of a Super Scion. The legendary Super Scion is a being of immense power spoken of in an ancient Scion folklore, and Broly's form is referred to as being the legendary Super Scion due to the user's love of destruction and slaughter similar to the Super Scions of legend, and it is noted that perhaps this instinct-driven form is the true Super Scion spoken of in legends. It is the true appearance and form of a Scion. A user of this form is referred to as a legendary Scion. As of Dragon Ball Super it is generally just referred to as Super Scion in its initial stage, and full power Super Scion when bulked up fully. In supplementary material for the anime version of this form it is often referred to as being Kale's Super Scion 2 in relation to her standard Super Scion form. Versions There seems to be some major differences between the two versions of this transformation, split between the 6th and 7th universe's users despite their obvious visual similarity. The variations are Legendary Scion, when it manifests in Kale, it is described as a berserk state due to her loss of sanity and tendency to fight as a rampaging berserker whenever she adopts the form. It is this berserker quality that has caused the Scion race to label those who transform into the legendary Super Scion state as demons. Super Scion Full Power, however, when it manifests in Broly, it is the full power version of his Super Broly state, which combines the power of the Great Monkey transformation with the traditional Super Scion form, resulting in a being of inconceivable power. Concept and Creation This form was created by Dragon Ball's animation company, Toei Animation, and in particular, Takao Koyama. Koyama cited the Super Scion third grade form, and in particular Future Trunks transformation sequence into the form in the anime episode Trunks Ascends, as being the direct basis for the form's overall design. Its golden hair design was created by the original Dragon Ball manga author, Akira Toriyama. In the initial promo for Broly, the legendary Super Scion, Broly was shown to have gold hair in his legendary Super Scion form immediately upon transforming, but in the final release, his hair is colored lime green and doesn't become golden until late in the movie, and also remained gold in the sequels. Kale's original character bio referred to this state as the Berserker state of Super Scion. The official production design for the Tournament of Power Arena refers to Kale's form as turning into Broly. When Toriyama created the Dragon Ball Super incarnation of Broly, he chose to ignore the legendary Super Scion form's green hair when creating his design, and so now Hiro Shintani decided to add it as a full power version of the form. Appearance The legendary Super Scion's appearance is quite distinguishable from the regular forms of Super Scion. In Dragon Ball Z, Broly, the legendary Super Scion, the hair color is yellowish green. When powering up to his full power in this state Broly's hair changes from a green color to the golden glow of an ordinary Super Scion, as he does at the end of Broly, the legendary Super Scion and for the entirety of Broly's second coming. However, his hair is more so a dull yellow color, just like his Super Scion C-type transformation. Bio Broly also possesses that hair color at all times when in this form. In Budokai 3, Broly's hair is gold here when fighting Gogeta in the game's intro. In the colored manga, Kale and Broly's legendary Super Scion form possesses golden hair similar to a Super Scion, though of a slightly different color. Under Kale's usage, the form starts off with just a slightly taller toned body before having a dramatic increase in muscle mass when she begins to power stress herself. When transformed to the legendary Super Scion in the anime Kale's hair is solid green, and her eyebrow is still yellow like ordinary Super Scions. During its initial appearance under Kale's usage, the form possessed the electricity spark similar to Super Scion 2. Later, when teamed up with Caulifla against Goku, Kale surpasses her limits in the legendary Super Scion state, her hair glows, and her veins bulge, eventually leading to her achieving the controlled version of this form. With Broly in Dragon Ball Super, Broly, when he initially transformed into a Super Scion he possessed golden hair, but when powered up to his full power state, his hair and eyebrow color is completely bright green. 
However, in the some promotional material for the Broly film and for most of the battle in the dimension of strange swirling lights in the film itself, Broly's full power form has golden hair like it does when he is in the standard Super Scion form. The most noticeable difference between the form of the legendary Super Scion and the regular Super Scion is the body size. When a Scion transforms into this form, their body grows in height and their muscle mass greatly increases, making it similar in appearance to the Super Scion 3rd grade transformation. Side note, a female legendary Super Scion's body seems to be more in proportion to itself than that of a female Super Scion 3rd grade, which has a normal torso size, but massive limbs. In addition, unlike the 3rd grade of Super Scion, this final form of Super Scion actually increases the user's height. In Broly's case, he's said to grow to be 3 meters tall. In this form, the user's pupils and irises vanish, making them look much more maniacal than normal. In rare cases, the blank eyes even give the appearance of glowing either white or, in some cases, red. When used with the wrathful state, on occasions where the user's pupils and irises do reappear, they are the same as that of the wrathful state, being yellow in color. Differing Depictions Across Media This transformation is depicted and named differently depending on the media it appears in. In its original usage under the incarnation of Broly who first appeared in the Dragon Ball Z films, this form was depicted as having green hair initially but changing to golden when powered up, and then staying golden in subsequent films, Akira Toriyama's artwork of this form also depicts it with golden hair. In this first appearance it was identified as Legendary Super Scion. Guidebooks however have given differing terms to describe it, Trunks anime comic section on Super Scion referred to it as Super Scion, Final Form, Daisensha 7 would simply talk about its usage under its section for the regular Super Scion form, the supplemental Daisensha calls it Super Scion B-type, while Dragon Ball GT, La Revista official referred to this form as being Super Scion 3rd grade. In its usage, by Kale in the Dragon Ball Super anime, this form is always depicted with green hair. Vegeta identifies the Berserk version of this state as possibly being the legendary Super Scion form in the dub or the Scion's true form in the original Japanese. The controlled version is described as the true legendary Super Scion in the next episode preview. Some concept art and video games call the form Super Scion, Berserk, and describe it as turning into Broly. Other concept art, as well as Dragon Ball Cardus, refers to it as Super Scion 2, with the controlled version of the state also being referred to as such in video games. Some video games simply refer to the Berserk form as Rampaging or Berserk, without mentioning the Super Scion aspect. In its usage, by Kale and the new incarnation of Broly in the Dragon Ball Super manga, this form is always depicted with golden hair. Witnessing Kale in this form, Kaba and Kalifla identify it as potentially being the legendary Scion. The initial Viz translation called it Legendary Super Scion, but this was changed to the proper Legendary Scion to avoid the inconsistency of Kaba not knowing what a Super Scion was in the Universe 6 saga. It was also referred to as being the legendary Super Scion in the Dragon Ball Super Interval Special. When Kale powers up and becomes bulky in this form, Vegeta describes it similar to how Super Scion 3rd grade was. In its usage by the new incarnation of Broly in the Dragon Ball Super, Broly film, this form initially appears with golden hair, before changing to green in its full power enhancement. This form's initial state is simply referred to as Super Scion in promotional material, while its enhanced state is called Full Power Super Scion or Super Scion, Full Power. Promotional material as well as the Xenoverse games identify it as being the legendary Super Scion. Usage and Power This form is first awakened with intense sorrow. In Dragon Ball Super, Broly, Broly takes on this form by becoming a Super Scion while already in his wrathful state. Interestingly, Kale does not require the wrathful state in order to become Super Scion, possibly due to Universe 6 Scions having evolved to no longer having access to Grade 8 power or the wrathful form is not necessary to access Super Scion. In Shin Budokai Another Road, Broly was heavily implied to have achieved this form from his witnessing and narrowly surviving the destruction of planet Vegeta. As noted by Kaba and Kalifla, this form is known in Universe 6 as a demon scion who rampages and whose power grows constantly eventually to the point that it kills them, meaning the transformation cannot be used for long without risk of death if it is used for too long in the manga. When bulked up beyond its initial state, the form is an extreme example of a transformation that relies on power and so is predictable and easy to evade despite its great speed. When the form starts to have an effect on the user's health, their power and speed start to drop drastically. The legendary Super Scion form is a powered-up version of the first Super Scion form, due to this, taking enough damage in this state will revert the user to the previous form. It is similar to the Super Scion 3rd grade level but unlike 3rd grade, legendary Super Scion speed is ultra first class, which is demonstrated by how Broly in this form managed to effortlessly dodge a combined front from both Goku and Piccolo as well as Broly using several clothesline maneuvers. In addition, unlike Super Scion 3rd grade, the form has the user increase in height significantly. 
The power increase given from this form is unconfirmed, though according to one guidebook this form is stronger than an ordinary Super Scion, but weaker than Super Scion 2. In this form, Broly's power, speed, strength, energy, and endurance increase drastically, exceeding the power of the Dragon Team at the time they fought him. Since his power level in this form is so massive, Piccolo stated that Broly's key can be felt all the way from Kami's lookout. Broly has been shown to take extremely powerful attacks without so much as flinching, meaning he was at least twice as strong as the individual Z fighters who fought him. According to V-Jump, Broly's power level in this form during his battle against the Z fighters on New Planet Vegeta was around the 1 billion 400 million range. In the Dragon Ball Super anime, Kale in this form is able to overpower Super Saiyan Blue Goku, though later in the tournament her more powerful controlled state is only shown fighting on par with Goku's Super Saiyan God form. In the manga, Kale's power in this form is strong enough to knock around the non-serious Golden Frieza, as well as break perfected Super Saiyan Blue Goku's guard though Frieza notes he could defeat her if he got serious. After she powered up further, she is able to knock the likes of top and perfected Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta off the tournament arena at the same time, eventually eliminating a majority of the fighters, including several of her own teammates such as Otto Magetta whom she threw off the arena, as well as the Universe 3 Fusion Agnalasa, though a combination of her berserker mentality and effectively being weakened and by her own power taking a toll on her causes her to struggle against the lesser. Pride Troopers in Dragon Ball Super, Broly, Broly is powerful enough that in the initial version of this state he is able to simultaneously overwhelm Goku and Vegeta while they were in the Super Saiyan Blue state in the film, battle Golden Frieza for an hour and then fight on par with Super Saiyan Gogeta, however even after reaching full power he is no match for Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. In the manga, he is able to overwhelm Goku and Vegeta together in their perfected Super Saiyan Blue forms, but is in turn easily taken down by Gogeta in the aforementioned transformation. Users of the legendary Super Saiyan form, or at least Broly, seem to have enhanced regenerative abilities and healing factor in comparison to normal Saiyans. This form is the B-type of the Broly-type Super Saiyan forms, and is the most powered-up Super Saiyan form of the three basic types, the B-type Super Saiyan form is referred to as being the legendary Super Saiyan due to the user's love of destruction and slaughter, just like the Super Saiyans of Legend. When a Saiyan transforms into this form, they cause the sky and the environment to change color twice or three with the new Broly, DBS, often ending in a gray slash dark blue look. Directly before he transforms, Broly's cheeks quiver and then simply rip apart, the same occurs for his eye sockets and chest. It seems that instead of Broly simply enlarging when he transforms, the legendary Super Saiyan form bursts forth from his body. This also occurs in Kale on the final occasion that she takes this berserker state. Normally, however, the bursting forth from the body does not occur in Kale, nor does it occur in Bio Broly or Broly, DBS. Broly, DBZ, also seemed to just grow in size before Paragus narrowly reasserted control over him on New Planet Vegeta. In addition, unless forced out of the transformation, the user also simply has the transformation fade out normally, which is shown with Broly prior to going into a seven-year coma in Broly Second Coming, as well as Kale similarly fading out when calming down upon learning from Kalifla that she doesn't have any romantic interest in Kaba, as Kale had initially transformed into the form due to misinterpreting Kalifla's focusing on Kaba as her crushing on him. Once this form is in use the user is usually taken over by rage with little judgment to spare and solely becomes a rampaging monster with the lust to kill. Largely because of this, it also ran the risk of the user indiscriminately attacking even their own allies, which is best demonstrated with Kale in both the manga and anime, where she upon ascending into this form ended up attacking even members of her own team, and with Broly and Super, where he was tricked by Goku and Vegeta into attacking Frieza during his rampage, despite Frieza being his handler, by flying by him. Unfortunately for the user, maintaining the form usually requires a massive release of a significant amount of energy, if left unchecked, the buildup of energy would destroy the user from the inside out at least in the manga. Venting the energy also causes varying levels of fatigue, at a bare minimum forcing the user to pant, and in more severe cases even causing the user to emit steam from their body afterwards. Keeping the energy might cause the form's user severe fatigue as seen before he release their energy in a devastating way, and may cause them to revert to their normal form and tire them out very quickly. Interestingly, Broly did not suffer from this stigma in his second appearance, hinting that he may have overcome the form's limitations. The form can also be incredibly hard to maintain for early users, causing them to pass out after being in the form for too long. When used by Broly in Dragon Ball Super, Broly, it was noted in the novel that he seemed to possess unlimited stamina when using the golden-haired non-full power version of the form, as he never tired nor did his power drop even after more than an hour of battling Golden Frieza. Nor did his power drop when he transformed into the full power version. Users of this form possess a heavyweight fighting style, using crushing moves, and grabs to overpower his her opponents rather than lots of fast and powerful punches and kicks like most other fighters in the series use. Their energy is also unique, being a shade of green, though Paragus is shown to have green key too. 
the form's physical prowess and strength was also significant, even by Scion standards, which is demonstrated with Broly managing to not only lift, but even crush an attack pod with his own bare hands, despite it being heavily armored, as well as Kale in the manga managing to easily lift up Automagetta, despite it weighing over a thousand tons. Dragon Ball Super In the anime, Kale achieves the form through self-loathing and anger through Kaba and Kalifla being friendly with each other. She proceeds to attempt to kill Kaba, however she drops out of the form after Kalifla tells Kale that she has no interest in Kaba. Kale uses this form in the anime version of the Tournament of Power to easily overpower Goku while in his Super Saiyan 2 form and even proving able to withstand a point-blank Kamehameha from Goku in his Super Saiyan Blue state, walking right through it, although it's very likely that Goku was holding back. She then processed on her rampage against Goku as he was surprised at how powerful she is, she then grabbed his face and as she did so her power seemed to overwhelm her body and forced her to toss Goku away and leak out her overflow of ki. Kale then demolished the entire tournament of power stage with her ferocious power and even caught the attention of all the pride troopers with her mighty voice. This form was finally defeated by Jiren with a power impact and forced Kale to revert back to base form. Kalifla refers to this form as ultra super power. Kale's emotions allow her to control this form and attain her a controlled version of this state. Kale transforms in this form again from Super Saiyan 2 transformation and was able to take out three pride troopers with Kalifla, reverting back to normal afterward from exhaustion. In order to prove herself worthy in her own eyes to Kalifla in their tag battle against Goku, Kale once again goes berserk, however, her bond with Kalifla allows her to gain complete control of this state, turning her Super Saiyan 2 form into a true legendary Super Saiyan. In the manga, Kale transformed into this state in anger at Frieza and proceeded to rush him down. As Golden Frieza prepared to get serious, Goku then interfered with the battle and fought Kale with his perfected Super Saiyan Blue, to which she managed to break his guard, only for him to be kicked out of the way by Frieza. Kale then powered up before dashing past them and creating an explosion of energy from her body that knocks out several fighters in the tournament. As she begins rampaging in this state, Kale's strong enough to nearly knock out Vegeta, who had to use an energy blade to ground himself near the edge, and Top, who had to be pulled back into the arena by Dispo. Kale proceeds to knock out the remaining fighters of Universe 4, and proceed to eliminate Agnalasa in a single kick, eliminating Universe 3. Following this, Kale eliminates the remaining members of Universe 2, before finishing off Universe 10 by eliminating Avni. At this point, the drawbacks of the form begin to show themselves as Kale is unable to differentiate friend from foe, picking up Magetta and tossing him out of the arena single-handedly, before also knocking out Sayanel and Perina as they try to talk sense back into her. Kaba reveals that Kale is in fact the legendary Scion, and if she doesn't come to her senses she'll continue rampaging until she self-destructs. As Kaba attempts to reach her, Kale knocks him out of the ring, though Kaba is saved by Vegeta. Though the Pride Troopers are briefly shown struggling against Kale, Vegeta points out that they've seen through her and that she has begun losing power and is at her limit. Using this form, Broly battles Goku and Vegeta in their perfected Super Saiyan Blue forms in the manga. However they go on to fuse into Gogeta and defeat him. In Dragon Ball Super, Broly, Broly transforms into this form after seeing his father's dead body. Broly unleashes a vibrant, flaming green aura. His energy is capable of causing the atmosphere to violently shift colors. Right before transforming, his scara flash red and his pupils and irises actually shatter into blankness, marking Broly's transition into his berserker rage. Upon fully transforming, his hair takes on the standard yellow hue and his skin is noticeably paler. Broly is able to outmatch Goku and Vegeta in their Super Saiyan Blue forms even diving through their Gallic Kamehameha with ease. He fights Frieza in his final form and easily beats him around, he then proceeds to fight Golden Frieza for around one hour before finally beating him to the point he cannot fight back. Broly craves battles in this form and even tried to attack Whis, who easily avoids his attacks without effort, showing Broly in this form is no match for him. Later Gogeta, the fusion dance of Goku and Vegeta appears to fight him. In this form, while fighting he was able to push base Gogeta to transform into Super Saiyan, and they both seems evenly matched in terms of power, as Broly could match Gogeta's Kamehameha with his own energy attack, with the resulting clash breaking through dimensions, but Gogeta's superior skills soon gave him a decisive edge to land many blows on Broly while Broly struggled to keep up with Gogeta and hardly landing any blows, although he still endured with little hindrance to his performance. In the end, Broly's power grows again and he transformed into his full power Super Saiyan form. In the light novel however, Broly reverts back to his regular Super Saiyan form towards the end of his fight with Gogeta. Super Saiyan Broly and Super Saiyan Gogeta shatter through dimensions as they fight until Broly powers up into his Super Saiyan full power state, shrouded in a green aura. In response, Gogeta activates Super Saiyan Blue to regain the upper hand. 
Ultimately, Gogeta prevails over Broly, who is narrowly saved from a lethal full-force Kamehameha by Chilai, who wishes Broly back to planet Vampa, helping Broly calm down and return to his base form in the process. Chilai and Limo join him on Vampa, while Goku approaches them with supplies, including capsules, a capsule house, and two sends of beans, and offers to train with Broly. Enhancement Controlled Kale manages to gain control over her legendary Super Scion form after she goes berserk for the third time and Cauliflower brings her back to her senses. In the anime, this state is only ever referred to as true legendary Super Scion in the next episode preview, while it is always referred to as Super Scion 2, 2 Super Saiyajin Su, in video game appearances. In this form, her power greatly increases, as Tien Shinhan noted that her power massively increased. The form also allows her to fully control her berserk state while fighting Goku alongside Kalifla. This form makes Super Saiyan 2 Goku tremble with excitement, stating it is a Saiyan instinct. With it, she and Super Saiyan 2 Kalifla were able to initially overwhelm Goku with raw power and ultimately encouraged him to use Super Saiyan God. Initially, Kale was able to hold her own against him, with Cauliflower being completely overwhelmed, however, Super Saiyan God Goku was able to resist a point-blank energy wave from Kale with no damage, and even when Kale and Super Saiyan 2 Cauliflower used their energy blasts together, Goku was able to easily destroy both blasts at once with his own energy attacks, which Kale was able to deflect while Cauliflower was severely damaged by it, though even after all that, Kale is shown to have remained undamaged. In Xenoverse 2's Legendary Pack 2 Story Mode, Kale appears utilizing her controlled Super Saiyan 2 form alongside Super Saiyan 2 Cauliflower sent by Fu to even the playing field and aid Gogeta who earlier had his power sealed, in fighting a rampaging Broly who was destroying everyone he comes into conflict with. Kale's mastered version of the form looks near identical to Super Saiyan C-type, but possesses the green hair and aura of the legendary Super Saiyan form. Kale's hair also spikes up completely, and her right bang falls down in this form. In the Broly film, when he is about to be hit by Gogeta's Kamehameha, Broly briefly gains control of his full power Super Saiyan state, resulting in the yellow eyes of his wrathful state re-manifesting. If Broly had been able to gain control over this form from the start, he could likely win against Gogeta. During Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero, Broly has managed to gain more control over his transformations, but still goes berserk. Powerhouse in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Kale dramatically bulks up her legendary Super Saiyan form during her encounter with Goku and Frieza. Vegeta and Jiren refer to this bulked-up state as an extreme transformation which emphasizes power, and thus a mistake to use, making it similar to Super Saiyan 3rd grade in terms of its flaws. Full Power The legendary Super Saiyan form reaches its most powerful when it reaches its ultimate form, referred to as Full Power Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Full Power. The potential of this form far exceeds the golden-haired Super Saiyan state. In this state, the user bulks up further and their hair changes from gold to a glowing emerald green. This full power form was created by Naohiro Shintani for the film and as such does not exist in the manga's version of events. In his Dragon Ball Z film appearances it was implied that Broly's golden-haired version of the legendary Super Saiyan form was the full power version of the state. Fusion Super Saiyan as a fusion of the two, Kefla's Super Saiyan form possessed traits from Kalifla's Super Saiyan form and Kale's legendary Super Saiyan form. In the anime, when Kefla transforms into this state her power is so massively great that she was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and was able to land massive damage to the older Saiyan when he let his guard down, despite being empowered by the Kaioken. This prompts Goku to activate his Ultra Instinct powers, Kefla then responded by ascending into the second level of the state. When backed into a corner, Kefla awakens a further power in this state, powering her up, darkening her hair, and allowing her to use her ray blasts. In the manga, Kampa comes up with a plan to use the pod era that Kalifla stole before the tournament. As Kale is knocked out of the arena by Tupper, Kaba jumps out to rescue her, attaching the pod era to her ear as Kalifla attaches one to herself, before Kaba tosses her back into the ring, knocking himself out. Kalifla and Kale then fuse while in their respective transformations, combining into Kefla who is in a hybrid state of both Super Saiyan and Legendary Super Saiyan. Kefla then proceeds to knock out all of the pride troopers except Jiren, Topo, Dispo, and Kazarol, before setting her sights on Goku and Jiren, before Gohan deflects a blast directed at Goku and challenges her. Despite the fusion, Gohan proves to be an even match for Kefla. Before lamenting the fact, she couldn't take down a single Scion, Kefla and Gohan take each other out in a double knockout, ending Universe SIXS run in the tournament. Carolee also possess a form which is a mixture of Goku's Super Saiyan form and Broly's legendary Super Saiyan form, though it is different from Kefla's. If you want to support me check out my Patreon at https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash kayashin. I tend to polls that decide important plot stuff in my P at Trian. Many thanks to my awesome patrons. Ben Phillips
If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.